Today, I'll be showing you how to connect to MySQL database from your .NET Core application, Core 6 application, .NET 6 application. Yes. So first, ensure that you have a, your MySQL database is properly running and you can connect to it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in my MySQL database, there is a database called World. In that world, there's a countries table. So in this countries table, we have details of different countries and we have names. So I'll be reading the names of this names from this database and displaying it to the user. Okay, now let's get started. First, let's create a new project. Create new project. I'll be using a Windows Forms app but uh, the pro the code and the process will basically be the same for any other application type any other application type now let's name the project my sql contest and next dot net 6 create Our application is being created now first what we need to do is we need to add the mysql dot data package so to do that in the right side corner of the screen here we have our app our project name right on our project name right click you can see manage NuGet packages click on it so here I already have a NuGet package source but uh, some of you may not have that so if you don't have NuGet as a package source what you need to do is click on settings icon it will open package sources here as you can see I have NuGet if you don't have NuGet what you need to do is click the plus icon here package name is NuGet and the URL is api.nuget.org See, just like this you need to add so I'll be giving an article accompanying the video like in the video description there you can find the URL and how to do the process so for now as I already have it I'll be just clicking cancel here package source I'll change to new kit now in the browse section let me just type MySQL. As you can see, we have the MySQL.data package. It's by Oracle, 33.8 million downloads. Now what we need to do is install it. Finished. So it is installed. Now let's go to our form one dot. CS yes ah. yes uh, we need to accept this I just forgot let's click OK and accept the terms click on I accept now it is installed mysql.data as you can see here we can we got our uninstall option so it is installed now let's close this window yes here I'll be adding a button button and also a list box yes let me change the value of the button the text in the button to load data Let me increase the size of the box and also the button. Yes. Now let's uh, handle the button click event. To do that, let's just double click the button. Yes. We got access to our button click event. Now, what we need to do? First, let's import the package using MySQL package. 
using space my SQL dot data dot my SQL client inside our button first what we're going to do is we clear the list box like if the list box has items from previous we'll just clear the items so we call the clear method on the list box items now connection my sql connection space con equal to new my sql connection connection string let me just declare the connection string So what we need to give in the connection string, we need to give our server, server, server address. So for us, it is localhost. Then the username. For me, it is a root. And our database. Database equal to world port equal to level three zero six password equal to okay. uh, these details are for my particular database. So for your database, according to its configuration, your details might change, but I think mostly the username and port number will be the same and also if you are running your mysql server locally that means in this mission only then the server will also be localhost your password and database will change database is this world yeah. now we got a new connection next Next, we need to open that connection. Condor open. Now let's create a MySQL command. MySQL command, new MySQL command. So what is our command? Select name. From country semicolon yes that is our connection as that is our command SQL command that will get the uh, country's name from the country table and we need to also pass in our connection object now Let's create create a MySQL data reader. MySQL data reader. Reader equal to command dot execute reader. File reader dot read. So what's what is this while loop doing? Well, in this while loop, we'll be checking that while the reader has something to read, like the reader has objects available. Like in the table, let's assume we only have 10 countries. While reader has something available, like uh, the next row shouldn't be empty. Until that condition, the while loop will continue. So let's add them. Let's add the data we got in our list box. List box dot items dot add reader dot get string of zero. So why is that zero? Uh, like let's say we select the only name, right? Instead of name, if we put the star, then we'll get the access to this uh, entire table. So then uh, it will be indexed according to uh, rows or columns. I get confused by the term. 
this uh, code will be zero name one continent two uh, like that get string okay now we need to close close our all all our connections first let's close the reader next we'll dispose of the command reader dispose next we close the connection now let's run the application after i click on load data as you can see the data is loaded from the mysql database in a similar manner by changing the executing commands, we can perform all the CRUD operations on our MySQL database through our .NET 6 application. So that is it. Thank you for watching.